So why should investors care about Molly? It's a very good question. Um, ultimately, it's a supply and demand piece. Um, I think what a lot of people don't realize about Molly is that most of the global supply doesn't come from Molly mines. It comes as a byproduct of copper mining. So when copper projects are delayed, Molly supply quietly tightens. Meanwhile, demand keeps climbing, especially from those industrial infrastructure and energy transition sectors. Um, and then from an investment standpoint, Molly trades on the London Metals Exchange, so it's liquid, price transparent, and already has global buyers. So as a result of all this, we believe that Ruby Creek is one of the more compelling undeveloped Molly deposits in North America. Um, we've got a 433 million pound resource, just shy of 74,000 meters of drilling. It's road accessible, and there's a historic feasibility already done. So we're not starting from scratch. Um, and with all this in mind, this is why part of our focus this year is on de-risking that asset. The geology we already know is there, so that's why we've engaged TetraTech to help us better understand the ec economics of advancing this into a mine. Hope that helps.